would say technically there's a difference between the oak leaves and the jungle leaves, but you honestly can't tell. There's like a pixel difference, and it's just so negligible. It's not even funny. That is why this game is hell for people with OCD. I legit am looking at two different stacks of them, and I can't, probably couldn't tell you. The jungle leaves are slightly thicker. Oh no. With two C's? Extremely. Well, I'm going to toss these leather pants into the uh, lava if nobody wants them. I can confirm. I do not want your used pants. However. There you go. Just buy pants. I have a fully functioning. Oh, how am I gonna get down? God damn it! Par parachute? I could probably land softly on one of these trees. Yeah, I'll be fine if I land on that. Are you close to water? Nah, I'll just uh become friendly with the tree near me. Yeah. I had. Can you plant grass on leaves? No. Okay. Hello, tree. I've come to. Well, I'm here. Ow. Slow descent. This went from being secret tree to extra thick tree. Whoa. That is extra thick. I do not want these ferns. It is very square, and I am probably not going to be able to fix that without falling and dying another five times. I also need more leaves, but my uh, shears exploded. Conveniently, I have a stupid amount of iron, so it's not really a problem. Yeah, that's my plan, is I'm gonna plant... I have some vines, and I'll just throw them on at random, and they'll eventually grow down. And then once the vines are on, I can climb up and throw random leaf blocks. But until then, I have to, well, plant the vines. Which I'm getting. Oh. Sean, thank you for paying me the seeds back, I guess. I can hear another skeleton. I can hear it. I can't see him though. Why are the Endermen depositing so much dirt in my house? <laughs> they want to help. Good question.
they are a menace to society. Truly, they be. The madmen planting random uh, like blocks of sand up on the tree. That is Thank a very, that's a very Minecraft tree. Tis. The mighty sand. <gasps> a kitty. running oh god <laughs> it's just like what's about to happen i hear bad things Small issue with the tree, but it's a tad dark. Well, that fixed the problem. May have made out one too many pairs of shears. Oh well. Yeah, it's small details. Now I have bonus shears. What purpose do they serve? Uh, to be determined, but they're there. I mean, I'll take your extra shears. But they're so comfy in my chest. Yeah, I've been seeing like random awesome all over the place. Oh! Can they open doors? Oh, they can spawn on the inside. Ah, oh, that's rude. We have an anti ocelot machine. I called lights. Cobblestone prevents them. But then my chickens won't have grass. If they don't eat grass, that doesn't matter. Time to replace your world. Well, I can't do that for in here. Well, that's a problem for another day. Uh, once you place down an enchanted table, you can break it and pick it up like any other block, right? It's not going to be like a bookshelf and explode into ten pieces when I hit it. Uh, it should... It should uh, break enchanted normally, table. Yes.
I don't think that's me, because I'm not tapping is it, my mic. Is it still happening? Not anymore. Is it happening now? Yes. Cool. So apparently my headphones are vibrating loud enough, even though the volume is turned down low, so that you can hear me mine. Ah. Okay, let's try this. Interesting. How about now? I do not hear it now. Cool. I have my automatic composter set up now. Hey, aren't they nice? Yeah. I was gonna get an automatic composter and then get a uh, auto wheat farmer, so that you just like place a um, you place a wheat seed down and it'll just kind of make it full grown in a like millisecond and harvest it at the same time. So you just as fast as you can place wheat seeds is as fast as you can harvest wheat. I like this idea. Plus, the seeds that you get from each wheat turn back into compost. It doesn't quite equal out, so you still need another source of compost, or seeds that you can compost, but it's fairly efficient. It's a good secondary farm for a main automatic farm. That way the seeds don't go to waste. Interesting. Efficiency is what we do here at the corporate office. <laughs> I hate, I hate fucking villagers, just... Re... I'm mostly laughing because it sounds like such an HR problem. A little bit. Slightly off-putting to have a chest floating on the... Oh no. Water leaks through leaves. I never thought of this. Oh, now it's wet in here. Oh. And this is why you don't build things out of leaves. Let me get some planks up in this bitch. I can hear you running around over there, Enderman. And I see you carrying your block of grassy dirt. But please go away. Yeah, there's one in my little farm and I'm annoyed by it. He stole something less than worthless to me, but I mean, it's the principle. Got my yard. It was my. Yes, it was my dirt, damn it. Alright, which elevator are you stuck in? My dirt! I see. Oh, let's. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and mine you out from the other. Hmm. Hmm. Mind you out from the other side. He said mine. Damn villagers. Crammed in a one block elevator with you, Tommy. Did, did we? Did they not read the social distancing platforms or uh, pamphlets that we handed out last week? Excuse me. Random sentence. That should be how you do. He heard noise and went. <laughs> Thank, thank goodness for the automatic composter. I have 13 stacks of seeds from this farming trip. 
the painful part is realizing how little 13 seeds turns into as far as bone meal goes. Truly, yeah, you no, do. it takes like an entire stack to get maybe one part of bone meal, if I remember correctly. It's really yeah, I don't care as long as I don't have to click through all of it. Wow, that was two stacks of wood. Okay, I need more. Tree big. Tree big. Oh boy, granite. That's what I love. I love granite. I can't get enough of granite. I don't want to take it for granted. Ah. Oh. Enderman, why did you put that down over there? Better menace to society. Uh, yeah, I might here in a second, actually. Come here. We we need their uh we need their orbs anyway. Orb. Orb. They have cool, them but we need a orb. How difficult are they to kill? <laughs> That'll show them. Kill their pet. Gosh. Uh, is it their pet or are they its pets? Hard, maybe. Symbiotic annoyance. No! Okay, I'm gonna die again. <laughs> that was a guttural <laughs> no. Imagine climbing to the top of a tree and almost falling to your death three times in, like, the past 30 seconds? Oh my god. Are you well? I need to invest in ladders. Vines are gonna be the death of me. Oh, I love vines. It's like gambling. <laughs> it's like gambling, yes, except sometimes you don't win. <laughs> yeah, like gambling. I'm sorry, you win in gambling? Yeah. Every time I've done a lotto scratcher, I've won money. Wow. Fair enough. Well, usually I win, but it's like $1 and it costs $5 to send it in. I just do the ones at, like, my supermarket, where you get them from the, like, dispenser. They cost a dollar. Sometimes I win a dollar. Sometimes I win two. I should go get a ticket of some kind. Yeah, no, I That's... have so much change lying around. I'm just going to start blowing all my quarters on lotto tickets here soon. Nice lotto. It's an unboxing. Uh, well... No, it's because I got a double yolk egg the other day. Hmm. And uh, if I remember correctly, those are supposed to be good luck? Question mark. I mean, if, if anything, it raises egg. fun questions about what would have happened if that egg would have come to fruition, but... You know, I don't actually know the answer to that. I'm pretty sure it... You know, I, I don't know, actually. <laughs> I'm under the assumption yeah. it just like you get big chicken, but it might just be two in one egg. I don't. I assume it's you get <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, can chickens be twins? Chickens hatch out of one egg. <laughs> yeah, I I would guess that it's you just get you know a bigger chicken because they don't they aren't formed from the yolk. The yolk's just the essence in which they take nutrients from, right? Yeah, they're formed from yeah. the uh, Khaleesi, I think. Yeah. Just a fun fact, every time you make an egg, just remember that little, like, weird piece of white stuff is, like, totally not a, uh... What's what I'm looking for? It's like an undeveloped chicken spinal Inver column or something? I mean... It tastes good with salt, apparently. It does. But also, they aren't usually fertilized eggs. No, they're not, but they're like, I guess they're like, I don't know. Pardon, pardon the disgusting term here, but I saw a post on Facebook that summed it up perfectly, which is eggs are chicken periods, because they are not fertilized. Kinda? Uh, yeah. You'll never want egg again, but... Uh, no the idea. seven dozen I have in my fridge are used that. I also like egg. I too enjoy <laughs> Egg. egg. <laughs> I love eggs, I just can't eat them. That They're delicious. Can, uh, that the eggs off. Do eggs not like you? They do not like me. Oh. That is unfortunate. Have any 
any raw cod. <gasps> there is some raw cod here. Are you trying to lure a cat? Yes, I'm gonna throw it at the house cat and see if I can make it love me. Eat this fish, cat. Ah, oh, what the hell. Eat the fish! Love me! It's not letting me feed it more. I'm annoyed. <laughs> Cat says not Heck. good, fam. I wonder if when I get an efficiency 5 diamond pickaxe, if I can mine it's oh, okay. creative. That's probably it then. Is it okay if I avail myself of the person that is giving us emeralds for the pay? Avail yourself? Yes. What? Thank you. Alright. Oops. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nope, that didn't break it. Don't worry, it's just a bonus feature. And outside of business hours too, if you can find the bastard where he lives, wake him out of his bed and be like, sell me shit. <laughs> it's that one Skyrim merchant, he's like, what are you doing in my house? Oh, business? Sure. Let's do it. <laughs> I mean, you can do that in The Witcher, too. Yes, you can. You broke into my house to steal things? No, to sell things. Oh, I see. <laughs> You're speaking my language. Give me a few minutes to wake up, and I'll be right in with you. Please get out of my bed. What do you think this is, a video game asshole? I'm tired. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't work that way for you guys in real life? I mean, occasionally I've woken up at 3 a.m. with a strong desire to buy dirt, but... Ironic, unironically, yeah, me too. I'll wake up and be like, you know what? I really want to get some new pots for my backyard. Mm, top spoil. What kind of a dream might <laughs> might one have been having to cause this? Do you really want the answer? Yeah, I was about to say, to do you really wait. want to know what my weird dream was? Can't be anywhere to the mine. Go ahead. I was an onion farmer for like a year. It was great. Straight up. Uh, that can be arranged. I Excuse I know what guy. Uh, hold it's on not like I didn't do that for my undergraduate, like, semi-dissertation. Oh, yeah! That's right, you <laughs> had to, did you have to make the big onion because, you know, saving the world was considered not academic enough? Yes. Yeah. Well, no, it's it's not that it wasn't academic enough, it's that, it's that it wasn't profitable enough. You have to be a vigilante scientist. I feel oh, like there's a, a lot of movies idea. that involve that, and they're always the villain. They are. <laughs> like, Pretty sure that's is, what Doc that's Ock like was. 90% of Poison Ivy's shtick. <laughs> that her whole shtick was, I'm going to be a doctor and help people. Mm. Make a boy hot. I mean, there's there's a lot of lines with Poison Ivy where she's just like, all I wanted was for oh, no, people to Ivy. stop polluting. Wait, who did you think I was talking about? I misheard you. I don't know why I thought you heard, or I thought you said Sir Harley Quinn. Oh. Po Poison Ivy's, well, depending on the rendition of Poison Ivy, it's all I wanted to do was stop pollution. Why did murdering, like, 80 dudes who had nothing to do with pollution, why was that a bad thing? Why are you arresting me? <laughs> There's also the one where she, like, keeps semi-kidnapping children to give them a better life. <laughs> that happens, too. There are a lot of different renditions of Poison Ivy, because some of them, some of versions of her are, like, straight-up vile. Yeah. Like, like, I think, I'm pretty sure there's a version of her where she just kills men. Like, the plant thing is secondary. Killing men is primary. That's distinctly possible, yeah. I think that's actually the, uh, the, the, I may be wrong, I never watched much of it, but the TV show version. See, the problem is, is it which depends TV on which TV show. show. <laughs> I was about to say, there's, like, the older ones, but there's a newer one that's just, like, it's based off the Harley Quinn movie-ish, except she, like, breaks up with Joker and, like, moves in with Poison Ivy and her roommate, and it's a really strange sitcom. Uh, that's actually, like... That happens a lot, actually, where she, like, starts dating Harley Quinn. That, that happens. Remember, there's a defining moment. Yeah. She, like, hires one of the goons who publicly, like, humiliated and, like, smack-talked Wonder Woman on live TV. That was, like, her go-to I... hire guy. 
I, I do remember that being a thing too. Also, You're a I, dick. I like it. I think also it's a pretty common theme for her to just like. Yeah, he's he's really not in any way, shape, or form. No. no. But like, the uh, I think in a lot of rendition, she just like straight up takes over the botanical garden in Gotham and is just like, "This is mine now. Get out." I mean, it makes sense, plants. Yeah, yeah, it really does. You know, that would be an interesting, um, like, little short comic, is her, you know, pulling that, you know, this is mine because I am plant lady, get out. And, you know, Batman's sitting there like, I I'm, I'm sorry, this that's clearly an act of, like, criminal theft, but Joker just, like, lynched the mayor, I'm busy, sorry, bye. And you just have, <laughs> like, the local people who work at the Botanical Garden who are just, like, passionate 60-year-old women and just, like, <laughs> retired, just, t like, take shovels and plows and just, like, booby trap the shit out of it and just beat the hell out of Poison Ivy, like, no, this is ours, you will not take away my retirement plan. That would be kind of awesome, except for I, f I feel like she would actually be on their side. She probably would. She'd probably just be like, no, you can ch no, you, you chill. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, I mean, they could probably, then they'd probably just be sit there like the botanical gardens are for everyone and not for people who just like plants all the time. They could be for people who like plants on a very stressful <laughs> Tuesday night. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? <laughs> Okay, but can she actually understand the plants, or does she just control them? Wait, they don't talk to you guys, too? Oh, shit. Problem. Oh, I wish they would. It might actually mean that I could grow something other than sweet potatoes. And tomatoes. Are you thirsty? It's dead. <laughs> it's hard to grow things here. My mint died. <laughs> It didn't want to live. Perhaps if you did everything you could, but it simply did not wish to be mint. It wanted to be fertilizer for a sweet potato plant. They're not planted in the same place. It wanted more fulfillment in its life. <laughs> it didn't want to exist as a plant. It wanted to exist for the purpose of having something else exist. Oh uh, yeah, no, I I don't I don't plant catnip. Oh no, wait! I want to see Vincent go crazy. <laughs> yeah, uh, I want. I want to he see actually does catnip. not care about catnip, like, at oh. all. Because I actually Uh, never tried it. Well, no, it's we one... Actually... Vincent has only ever been exposed to catnip, like, two or three times total, because I kind of made it a rule, because I don't... I don't want my cat to be a drug addict. <laughs> That's fair. I'm oh, sorry, can you run that by me again? I don't think I heard you correctly. You probably heard me perfectly correctly. You just want me to say it again. <laughs> yeah, I do. Ah, <laughs> um, uh, yes, catnip synonymous. Well, I don't understand what it does to cats. If that makes sense. Yeah. Like, I don't understand the addiction level of it, and I don't want to force that upon my cat. <laughs> I don't know the addiction oh. level, I just know that there's catnip oh and cat mint. Catnip makes cats act, like, pretty funny, and for humans it makes you calm down, and cat mint is, uh, for cats, it makes them go absolutely, like, insane high. And then for humans it makes you irritable and angry, which is why they would give it to executioners before they did their job. Noted. Yeah, I learned that from two places, actually. I learned that from a very good book called The Faithful Executioner, which follows Franz Schmidt, the executioner of Nuremberg back in the 1700s, I think. Right right about the time that emperors were looking at executioners going, hmm, wow, that's unethical. And um, they did terrible fucking things. Uh, that book is full of horrible details. And then oh, the... Uh, and then the botanical poison botan no the poison garden in um somewhere in Scotland I forget where. I recall that being a thing. It's really cool in there. It's funny seeing the marijuana plant and having all the like fifteen year old boys on the tour going, Oh the bow bruv, look at that, it's a sick oh, fuck, it's green. <laughs> <laughs> all I heard oh, was yeah. green. Because like Yeah, that's about green. all I heard through the cockney too. The uh Responding to Tommy, the uh, 
if I remember correctly, trying to behead somebody with an axe was, like, really messy because it was never done in one swing. No. Like, oh, what I learned... So what I learned from the um, from that book was hey, Franz Schmidt was good at his job most of the time. Second off, uh, swords were reserved for nobles, and even then, most of the time, your executioners never wanted to be executioners. They were either forced to because their father was an executioner, and when you were the child of an executioner, you become an executioner. Or if you're the daughter of an executioner, you are married to another executioner's son because you are untouchable. Literally, like that's Franz Schmidt has a tragic is bad as a tragic backstory executioners were most of the time just chosen by like the local lord coming in being like this dude needs to die today and we are not waiting for a um executioner to like a, a journeyman executioner to come in so instead of making one of my soldiers do it because they're too important you random citizen who is my serf take up a sword here's my sword murder this guy and you are forever marked as an executioner you can do no other job you either kill yourself or you be an executioner that's that's now your choice in life uh, no, that... executioners are. There's a whole history of executioners that no one knows about, and I really recommend that book to anyone who wants some really dry, but at the same time, funny and interesting reading. Noted. Oh, Charles Henry Sanson. Yes, I remember him. Uh, who was that one poet? Um, Casanova watched his execution. Oh my he god. Like, Jesus Christ. He, he wa are you okay? <laughs> Tyler! <laughs> oh! Jesus you know, uh, that, ex that execution was particularly terrible. Um, like, uh, I remember Cas there was a report where Casanova was there, and he's watching this guy get... I mean, on, 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 I do not want to repeat what they did to him being done, as, like, people from all over France and Europe came to watch this guy die. And they're literally, like, the people he came with are getting, like, Warnicky in the room with him, and he's looking at them in terror. And everyone in the street are like, they're selling candy and eating, like, meat as this guy is getting butchered for eight hours straight. And Casanova's just sitting there watching in horror as other people are enjoying this kind of thing. And that, that's kind of my, that's kind of why emperors looked at executions and went, yeah, we need to make sure this doesn't happen anymore. And then they started doing executions privately and in prisons. That's, that's fair. Yeah, a little bit. Because uh, executions never got unpopular, by the way. They're actually at their peak attendance rate when they were made illegal across Europe. That or uh, actually surprised me. No, not one iota. There's a whole Dan Carlin episode called Paintertainment on that concept, actually. That's where I found out about the book. I mean, just given, like, how enthusiastic people were about the stocks and witch burnings, it does not surprise me at all. Not one iota. <sighs> There's a reason it was called the Dark Ages. It was... The See, that's the thing. That was like, that was the 1700s. We're getting into, or well, like late 1600s. That was the Renaissance era. That was during the era of rebirth. The Renaissance, honestly, uh, last had year, some Italy, really it was dark. dark ages. Yeah, it had some really dark moments. Yes, it did. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, that's that's a thing. Yeah, Faithful Executioner. Highly recommended. Noted. It is dry, though. Like, I, I, like even listening to the audiobook, the guy who reads the audiobook has a wonderful voice. Very, almost funny voice. Book. It's... Listen. I am here. <laughs> I have no follow-up. Ooh, diamonds. Hopefully, my place is now lit enough. Is it lit? Extra lit. <laughs> One would say it would be well lit. I may be slightly annoyed that there was a skeleton in my area. Kiss illuminating brother. Also, I have discovered that if you want an unbreakable pick, give it mending and unbreakable one, and it will never break. If you give it mending without unbreakable, it does not repair itself fast enough. Interesting. Because right. okay. my di this diamond pick will now never die. Unfortunately, it caused it to lava. But okay, that's I can die. But can I convince you to make one of those for me? It will cost an unholy amount of XP. 
it is actually probably better if I just show you how to make it with your own XP. I'm at level 50. Okay, you might actually be able to make one. Oh, cool. I also want this if I could. As long as you have the XP, it's relatively easy to Well, somewhat easy to do. I have Maybe. 11. I'm, I'm at level 11. So the main trick then... Oh, like, I love this. You'll probably have to get higher than 11. I'm at 23 and I still have, like, fuck all. Like, if I broke this pick down to nothing and I wanted to repair it, I think it costs 63 experience. Extra, three, th 63 levels just to repair it. Oh! Okay. Yeah, it's high. I can never break it. If I break it, I, it's cheaper to just make wow, it. Wow, he'll escape there for a minute. But yeah. Um, 14 emeralds will get you mending, and if you just try and enchant the thing, you'll probably get at least unbreaking one. If you get unbreaking one and mending, you have an amazing start. After that, it's just stacking on efficiencies until you get nice, tasty... I'm at a 3, and I'm mining just a little bit slower than creative. Oh, okay. Yeah, I... the, the speed would be really nice. Efficiency is... It's a, it's a hell of a drug. Hey, Sam. That's what I put on all my iron picks. Also, you know, having a diamond pick that doesn't break. That is also incredibly well. Okay. Yeah, I will definitely have to make use of that here once. I guess it would actually make more sense to do that now. Yeah, what would I... Not mining with these breakable ones. I'm currently stuck in a mine, but when I am done mining, which is when I can build three chests and my own in, I will happily show you what to do. Sounds good. I will join in for that. Now, the caveat to that you should at least know, it probably will not deter you, as it shouldn't, but... Uh, oh yeah, you do need to make a book, which we have um, some cows, so you can, we can murder a cow if we need to. Yeah, because I, I can do paper, but I haven't found hide yet. Yeah, no, I have. I filled my inventory twice, and my pick is unused. It, it is showing itself as not even in the green. It's unused. Nice. <laughs> no, it's it's a good feeling. Again, if it, it's a hell of a. Um, also, just be nice to, because I've I've always just invested heavily in stone pickaxes, and they they just are slow. Uh, you'll definitely want to go with diamond. Yes. Yeah. Especially if the diamond pick never breaks. Now, yeah, exactly. It's very, it's very XP intensive, though. Um, I'm trying to think, like, and getting XP too is interesting because. Honestly, I get most lower. of my XP from mining. Now, that's the thing. Oh, right, that's the caveat I wanted to mention. You will probably never gain experience from mining if you use a mending pick because the way that mending works is it takes the XP that you get while you're using or wearing the item and re. It, it repairs your, you know, whatever you're using. I'm honestly fine with that. I mean, I, I've been mining quite a lot, and I have not gained a single level. Again, my, my pick is unbroken, but I have no levels. It depends on I the item. I oh, don't... Oh, yeah. I also just don't use enchanting a lot. Honestly, that's the only enchanting I want to do, is just to get a basically permanent pick like that. I was about to say, the infinity, I want the infinity bow, it's just really hard to get a bow with infinity, aside from apparently fishing it accidentally. That's how it works. Good old magic fishing pole. Tommy's magic fishing pole is nothing to throw stones at. That thing is an absolute amazing godsend. Bruh. Nice. I'm also bringing over three and a half stacks of wheat so that I can find your trader and. Trader! Trader! Oh, it is daytime. Good. I 
can use the automatic composters are set up if you want to avail yourself of that if you have a bunch of extra seeds too. I do, but I don't want to go back. That's fair. But will they accept rye? I know I want rye bread. I'm mining at no. such efficiency that I cannot keep enough torches on hand. Oh, inventory's full. I threw some cobblestone on the ground. Now, as far as uh, the diamond pickaxe to be used for this, does it have to be unused, or does it matter if there's a chunk off of it? It can be used. Okay. Will it kind of repair through the chunk that's missing, do you think? Probably. I hear chicken. You will probably want to, in most cases, avoid using your, uh, whatchamacallit, you avoid using your mining pick for anything but mining, if you can. Yeah, I, I should be able to do that. It, with the amount of XP... I also have on hand 37 lapis. We have plenty of lapis. We'll yeah, never have... run out of lapis. Yeah, I have a couple uh, of stacks of lapis. If you're feeling spicy, but you are welcome you to use your own. Lapis blocks and flooring. <clears throat> At this point, we have enough lapis. We might. That's me with redstone. Probably... Just make an entire floor out of redstone. You know, I wonder. That might not actually look too bad. Tommy and I were discussing earlier if, if you jumped, it would either electrocute you or not. We determined it needed to be tested. We determined it's undetermined. <laughs> Basically. We've come to the conclusion that there is no conclusion. That was a good haul. Okay. Ooh, Tommy. Next. Hmm. I'm not sure why you're all standing on the ladder. Anybody have uh, lots of extra gold to make some power rails? Uh, we yes. Are. Extra gold? Oh, I have lots. Just the, I've got the subway station almost to the, uh, or I've got the subway station dug out to the main rec center. I just need to put the power rails in to continue it. Question is, how much gold do you want or need? Mm. Let me count how many rails I need. That is so many of them. We have too many villagers. So Tommy released them from the ladder, and it was just so many. So apparently, okay, I tried to experiment with ladders to see if they could get the beds with ladders, and apparently the answer is, so I'm just going to have to use stairs instead. <laughs> the answer is, oh. Uh oh, we're at the former drill. Only, uh, I found the one that deals in carrots. Oh, fucking carrot boy. I hate carrot boy. Carrots. Because it's inefficient. You want to buy my carrots? What? No. No, no, he wants to buy carrots, but, like, he wants 26 carrots for an emerald, whereas I could grow 20 wheat for an emerald. What wheat is the superior artist? crop. He is a ripoff artist. It is the superior crop because bread is more filling than carrot. Can confirm. I have acquired eleven emeralds. That is a good haul. Wait, I know I wanted to make a bank inside so that way instead of having to lug your emeralds from your house all the way back to the office, you could just keep your emeralds in a safe, basically. I mean, it wouldn't be a safe. Anyone could access it, but you know, it's, 
it's a safe server at the moment, so. Yeah, this this is true. That way, all your money is conveniently in the location in which you intend to spend it. Fair enough. I am going to go harvest my crops because I think they're regrown by now. Uh, I should probably. I can't check on the wheat farm. I'm deep into mine. Never mind. Tommy, if you have a step past the wheat farm, check on it. It looks almost ready. Okay. You wanna, if you wanna cry, you wanna take a wild guess how stacks of iron it took to build our, um, our uh, sheep farm. Uh, mini. That is indeed correct. <laughs> took five stacks of iron. Ow. Yeah. yeah uh, it, it, wiped, it, it wiped out our iron supply. Almost entirely. Nice. Now I just have to make a chicken farm and a cow farm. Which take up oddly not a lot of space. Hell yeah. Okay. I feel good about myself. This tunnel is so long that it exceeds my render distance. Hell yeah. It's Very a good well. feeling, isn't it? Truly it be. That's basically strip mining in a nutshell as you look back and go, oh man, I really don't want to go backwards. Or you go like eight blocks and you hit lava and you do that nine times. Hey, Sabe. There's a section of yeah. my mind that's like that. We are under a massive, like, lava deposit. Just this entire area in which we have built. Which makes sense, because we're in an archipelago. Damn you, plate tectonics! A little bit. Plate tectonics is a bit of a bitch. I really need to make the walls of this entire thing higher. Because there's so much that just gets stuck up on the walls. Small details, don't worry. We're just, uh, visiting. What I'm surprised doesn't give you XP is, uh, farming. I thought it would. Yeah, but... 16 powered rails. I don't know what that equates to. <sighs> so does it mean, that like, equate... 16 bars of gold, or...? Uh, let's see. The math on that is, I think, you get 6 powered rails. First, it would actually... Yeah, no, wait, you're right. That, that would be 16 bars of gold. I well, think. I do have that if you want it, Tyler. Yeah, if you don't mind donating it to the subway station. I have a stack. Okay. Six, wait, no, hang on, let me think. Because that, that's 16, six bars makes six powered rails. So that's six, 12, 18. So you'll have two extra rails. No, wait, you'll be shy two gold bars. So you need 18 gold bars, but you'll have two extra powered rails. That's easy fix. You need more gold. gold. I think I also have a sack. I have I a have stupid two amount. As well. Oh, wrong, wrong door. Okay. You found the chicken room. Yes, I did. Uh, Why do you I'm have gonna a chicken go room? out on a limb. And just Why don't you? Have... Wait, you do have a chicken room, don't I you? I do have it. I'm not. Not only am I going to have a chicken room, I'm going to have a goddamn Thank chicken you. grinder. I'm going to have a chicken machine. Slightly disturbing. <laughs> that, you're, get, you're catching on. <laughs> Let's see now. Let's have you see. seen the sheep farm? Uh, no, and I don't want to. No, no, it's actually pretty neat. I'd say it's like the only one that look, they look like they're in a laboratory, as opposed to the cow one and the chicken one, which is definitely not ethical. 
Fair enough. The sheep, the sheep ones not as cool because they live in a one by one box from their eternity. But at least you look, you can see them, and they look kind of cool. Look like test subjects. The chicken one is looking at the elder tour that is fifty cows all kind of in a box. Mm. They're, yeah, they are uh, mooing at you for death, and you say not yet, as you force feed them wheat. Noted. Hey, don't blame me, it's the villagers that want all the money. I found a bunch of diamond that way. What if I go this way? As a side note, that's completely unrelated to the current game we're playing. Did you know that in Ark, you can breed certain dinosaurs like the dodo to be different sizes? Dick dodo. You Rideable see, I, dodo. I knew that was a possibility, I just don't know how to do it. That's... what I'm working on. Wait, in real life? Uh, no. Because oh. that's considered unethical. And expensive. <laughs> To make giant dodos and bring them back from extinction? They exist. Yes, They're it's very turkeys. expensive. Hmm. So... They're about the same intelligence level. Taste. What if they taste good? It's the bird. Based, based yeah. on our conversation of genetics, because obviously if, if, like, you took out my DNA at 30 years old and I died at 60 of natural causes, chances are if you cloned me, my clone would die at 30 years old because that's when the DNA starts to break off. Roughly speaking. Uh, theoretically? Not exact. Because there could be other factors, too, where you're also assuming that the DNA will hold up for 30 years, which is... Ah. And also, it may change... Yeah, it may depend on what our current technology is and what we can do to mitigate that. Because we've cloned other animals. It kind of happens all the time, actually. Hello, Dolly. Uh, yeah, Dolly was, I mean, the first sheep clone, but we have lots of cats that we've cloned. We've had other I mean, animals. A... You can get your dog cloned if you want. Yeah, I was going to say, as a matter of fact, there, uh, for as long as I've been working at the current place I have been, there's ads in the back of these magazines that if you really like your current pet, they can clone it before it dies. So you can have, I've seen those. in theory, infinite copies of Fluffy. It's That's just super, awesome. super expensive to do. Oh, yeah, no, it's like 10 grand. Uh, Especially if it's a purebred animal, it's like 10 to 15 grand. Or in theory, if it's a breeder that wants to keep their very, very specific niche breed, yeah, that's expensive. I think there's also, like, they do it sometimes with cows? Uh, I think so, yeah. Like, like, they'll have an entire herd of cows that's genetically all one cow. Got good genetics. Kind of like bananas. Except for intentional. Wait, we accidentally cloned bananas? Yes. Uh, they do that themselves. What? I mean, what? a lot of plants, a lot of plants clone themselves. What do you think a cutting is? I... oh. Yeah, okay, I guess that makes sense. I feel like I accidentally did into someone's house. Where? I, I don't know. Banana plague. <laughs> Banana plague. <laughs> Are you in your house? Pace? Oh, it is most certainly not my house. I thought I was going into the community center, and it appears that I am not in the community center. Is there like a wheat farm out front? Uh, I thought I was going into the community center door, and then it was just a bunch of chests. And now I'm in a tree. Oh yeah, that's my dwelling. That is where oh. I am. Oh, the vines got you. Yeah. It's not a safe tree. Well, the problem is, is that I had everything on me when I did that. And all the XP. 
Yeah, and all the XP. Hang on, I'm gonna pull up taps on YouTube. Yeah, it's really frustrating. Like, the XP is halved every time you die, which is just obnoxious. God, this is a lot of diamonds. We have so many diamonds, we don't do anything with them. Where are my pants? <laughs> hey, you know what? That happened to me earlier, too. The jungle ate my pants when I died. I wish I was kidding. Jungle hungry want pant. Yeah, the jungle are pant thieves. I feel like I'm going to spend real life hours mining before I actually come back up. That's fine. It did shit. It gives me time to, uh... Get XP again. Yeah, and farm for emeralds. You do get XP for trading, which is great. Ah. It's okay XP. It's not great, but it's not bad. The best sure. XP that I found is mining nether quartz. The only problem is that I mined up all the nether quartz near the portal. Fair enough. And okay. it doesn't exactly respawn. It doesn't. It was kind of a one-trick pony, just to get me to level 30. Fair enough. However, if you're really good at not dying and you just keep playing the game, you'll get lots of levels. Oh, that's just silly. Exactly. I agree. That is not efficient. This whole one in efficiency. Do the villagers just follow you around if you have wheat? Is that what what's going on? I didn't think so, but apparently. They have apparently similar DNA strain to cows. Uh, nope, I put oh, the wheat away and they're still following me around. Nope, they want your money. Ah. I actually don't know if that's it. This has become a Oh company. yeah! That's right. If you have something they want, they'll hold up an emerald to show that they'll buy it. Ah, okay. They really do like slamming doors, don't they? They will just sit there and bang the thing while uh, 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 I'm waiting for an illager raid, but I don't think they... I don't know if the illagers actually know, like, if, if for some reason the village doesn't detect as a village because it's too high, so the illagers just don't know to raid it? I want to murder some villagers. I want to ban them. Um, I've, I or ran they into can't a, a how. Last time I ran into a uh, group of villagers outside. Oh. That's how I got their banner. I put it on my shield. Nice. And because, I guess because you never went to a village, they never got Engi. Yeah, I never got the debuff though, because, well, there's no village. Look at that gold! 22 oh. diamonds, sweet Jesus. The auto farm is so satisfying to watch. I do want to see it, but I'm currently down at bedrock level. Everyone is mining. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm eating fresh. Ah, uh, because you're building a subway, that took me a minute. I am actively trying to find the farmer who will buy all of the wheat that I'm carrying around. Wait, can you edit the sign after you're done? Uh, you have to break it. Oh. Hmm. 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 Ah, water! Waiting for that to happen in real life. <laughs> Walking outside like it. the, just, <laughs> the entire house, <laughs> the cat. <laughs> All right, sorry, one. I feel like it already has. It has. I think it happened Tuesday night, unironically. Oh. 
Oh, it did. Mm. It just kind of happened. There was, hmm. <laughs> there was no mention of it. It just keep, kept happening. I'm just like, oh, here we go. Oh, oh look, I'm mine shaft where I don't want to be. Never mind, there's diamonds down here. I want to be here. Could you guys hear that beeping just now? No. No. <gasps> okay, thank you. I have acquired the beats! I forgot beats exist. I have beat I'm roots. Like... Okay, I'm excited. The villagers oddly don't want beets for some reason. Good. I can make all the beet soup I want and drink it because, oh god, why am I eating this? That was always an option. Yep. That's what I should do, is I should take another trip out to Mushroom Island. Sounds incredibly cursed. I don't think I've actually ever seen the, like, mushroom cow biome hell. Oh, that's right. An atrocity and must be stuffed in jars. Yes, I, I want, I want mushrooms for my fay. Fay, whatever I'm doing. Who's more evil? The fay basement or the corporate office? Corporate office. Corporate office. I was gonna say my yeah. tree because it kills people. Directly, but it's a tree, so no, no, I like the tree does sound more unethical. Why does the tree sound more unethical? Because it has no gain, even from all of that callous evil behavior, it just murders. Mm, fair enough, at least we do it with purpose. It's like, we don't kill you, we milk you. it's like the kite eating tree. Gravel, as I mean, I don't call the fae basement evil yet because it's just a farm at this point yet that's what they want you to think as the person who controls that domain that is exactly what i want you to think <laughs> ace yes are you at your house no oh i am at the corporate office I'm Okay. I'm very curious to get the coordinates from you so I can at least put in a little subway station for you to dig down to, but oh well. I thought you already had. Well, I don't have a station, I just have the tunnel that goes nearby your house somehow. Ah, okay. One moment. What are we waiting for? Hmm. Hmm. Alright, apparently I have to go help get a pizza. I'll be back shortly. Some. No. Oh. Thanks, I guess. That's okay. Man, now I want a pizza. I'll get you some yeah, bread and some cows for cheese. You guys! I can't, no, I can't! <laughs> we'll give you cake instead. I mean, admittedly, that's an option for Sunday. That better be a promise. I want my gorgeous cake. It's considerably easier than making crab rooms. It is. Truly, it is. I was gonna say there is actually a uh, there's a Chinese restaurant by my house that does pretty good raccoons. Wait, are it's we Donald talking about Donald. doing pizza what? on Sunday or what? Yeah. Oh. Pizza is also an option. Sounds easier to do. Yeah, it's it's mostly because it'd be easier than crab raccoons. Although crab ragoons are still an option because memes. Yeah, they are. I don't think I've ever had a crab ragoon, actually. What do you mean? A ragoon. Mother ragoon. <laughs> You're so good. Yeah, I'd be down for pizza. We just have to order it, well, I guess beforehand, or I don't know when we want to do it. This is perhaps something to discuss after stream. Yeah. Oh, my inventory's full again. Also, you got really, really quiet. My mic boom, like, deorbited my mouth. There we go. Whoa. Master level Ooh. shepherd. He's really good, then, I know. At, like, shepherding sh What the hell? Okay. 
It works, I guess. What in the hey who was that? Hey. Although this time I'm actually not going with purple as my main theme. Also, you do realize at some point I'm going to try and steal one of the villagers and just have him, like, locked away in the middle of my tree, right? Okay. It's supposed to be a fey tree. Yeah, he'd be unemployed. He's the one who mistakenly ate something in my house. How rude. So there's a difference between golden apple and enchanted golden apple. Okay. Yes. One of them glows. I do not remember what buffs the, d the two of them give you, though. That's pretty legit. That'd be cool. I think so. Yeah, they give you like spelunking vision or whatever. It's pretty cool. Pretty legit. That way you scary. can be the one scaring the mobs running through the dark. Exactly. It is very quiet. It is. There was a good, like, 30 minutes before anyone hopped on. It was just me and Tommy, like, oh, what the hell were we even talking about? Yeah, there we go, chickens. Okay. That was a thing that happened. Fair enough. I guess I can go out and murder things. I need to make better, uh... I need XP and I need string anyway. That's what I'm gonna do. I think I can find a skeleton who wants to square up.
glass. I'm gonna have to get myself a new mouse soon. I'm starting to like misclick at random. Starting to get my mouse. Rip my glowy mouse. Okay, I can hear the manta rays. Hold on. Does anyone know of any good monster spawning areas? No, because I think the only one that we had was that spider one, and I'm pretty sure it got destroyed to make a farm. Office roof is okay. Because <laughs> I'm looking around the jungle, and there just isn't a whole lot of things here. Jungle isn't surprisingly safe. Which is, uh... oh, I see a spider. Never mind. Oh, that could be... Do we think I'm gonna get attacked by mantas in my trip to the surface? That's a hard maybe. I heard them, but I didn't get attacked. Ah. ah, so that's what occupied. Hey, there's something. Oh yeah, because they're afraid of cats, aren't they? Imagine being this otherworldly, semi-like, ethereal creature, and you get spooked by a cat. It's understandable, I would too, but... I haven't seen Boat Cat recently. I saw a Boat Chicken, though. Ah, that's a good idea. It is. Fair enough. I can hear skeletons. Should we be friends? You're a sheep. Hey, swamp sheep. What's up? Did you just say swamp? Uh, Swat sheep? Swamp sheep. I meant jungle sheep, but I said swamp sheep. So. Ah, okay. Having flashbacks to the other world. Except this time he's not blue. 
admittedly in the last one there was a lot of animals in that area. There were. Like there was a lot of animals. On there. Which was nice. <gasps> well that could have been a llama pit. Oh dear god. Okay. This is a death trap and I'm gonna leave it unmarked. Like it never even happened. I am definitely glad I didn't go all out in the entire melon patch this time around. That was a nice <laughs> Melons also seem to have very little return value. They are. Just like for the amount of work yeah. you put in, it's just so worthless. Selling them to the, them to the villagers might be useful. It is possible. That was a spawning melon. Hello. Very enthusiastic melon, though. 